My name is Mary Key Mars, and today I am giving a speech on General Marquis de Lafayette. General Marquis de Lafayette became a French and American hero who was very instrumental in helping America gain independence from British rule. Born a French aristocrat, he was orphaned by the age of 11, but had become one of the wealthiest people in France due to his inheritance. Even though Lafayette was wealthy and became a husband at the age of 16, he knew his life would be one of heroic adventure. At the age of 19, Lafayette went to a dinner where he learned about the American Patriots fighting in Washington's Continental Army against the British. Lafayette's father was killed by the British in the Seven Year War. Some saw this as a possible way to avenge the death of his father. Even though King Louis the Sixteenth didn't give him permission, Lafayette fled from France and sailed to America to join the Continental Army as a volunteer. Shortly after arriving in South Carolina, Lafayette made his way to Philadelphia to meet George Washington. Washington really liked Lafayette and became a father figure to him in short time. Washington and Lafayette had to start planning immediately because the British were headed to Philadelphia as well and would fight the Continental Army at the Battle of Brandywine. Unfortunately, the Battle of Brandywine wasn't a success for the Patriots and Lafayette was shot in the left calf. Washington instructed the doctors who took care of Lafayette to treat him like his son. Thankfully, they were able to surgically remove the bullet and allow Lafayette to recover in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. During this time of recovery, Lafayette spent his time writing letters to France, asking them to come and help the Americans fight the British. Lafayette was successful in getting the French to come to America's aid. At, the first, at first, King Louis XVI sent naval warships to help, but after Lafayette went back to France himself and requested help, King Louis sent French forces to America under the lead of Conte de Rechambeau, as well as an armada led by Admiral de Grasse. Lafayette's efforts helped America defeat General Cornwallis at the Battle of Yorktown and free the Patriots from British rule. When Lafayette returned to France, he was hailed a hero. Eight years following the Battle of Yorktown, Lafayette led the French Revolution. Lafayette served in the National Assembly before crafting the Declaration of Rights of Man. When the revolution became violent, Lafayette fled from France. Olmitz caught and held him captive in Austria. The French government took all of Lafayette's inheritance and they killed most of his wife's relatives by means of guillotine. Lafayette stayed in prison with his wife for five years until Napoleon Bonaparte successfully was successful in getting them released in 1797. About 10 years after his death, Lafayette was in, invited by President James Monroe to visit the United States and do a farewell tour. The tour began in 1825 and was called the Triumph Tour. The tour ended uh, being 13 months long and consisted of Lafayette's visit to 24 states, all 24 states. When General Lafayette visited Lexington, Kentucky, he stayed with General John Keene and his wife, Polly. He stayed up very late on the lawn of the old Keene place, visiting the soldiers, eating burgoo, and talking politics. It was a May evening, and he has been uh, raining before the visit. When the dampness set in, Lafayette was happy to crawl into a comfortable Lexington uh, four-poster bed that remained in the Keene family today. 
The following day, General Lafayette defeated Lexington and headed to headed north to Cincinnati, Ohio. Lafayette stayed the night with William Southgate and Adeliza Keene when he reached Covington. For three nights in a row, Lafayette was hosted by the Keene family. Everywhere Lafayette went, he was treated like a celebrity. He was fed lavish dinners and stayed in the homes of noblemen in each state. Over 5,000 people came to see him at a banquet dinner in New York. Lafayette's wife, Adrienne, was a more social person than Lafayette, and she would have enjoyed the triumph tour. She passed away in 1807 on Christmas Eve at the age of 48. Adrienne was a wonderful wife who stuck by Lafayette's side when he was off to war, as well as when he became disliked by his country and was forced to flee France. Together, Lafayette and Adrienne gave birth to four children. One of their four passed away as an infant. They named one of their boys George Washington Lafayette after George Washington because of the way he became a father figure to Lafayette. Until his death on May 20th, 1834, General Lafayette fought for freedom, human rights, as well as the abolition of slavery. Lafayette was the first person granted honorary citizenship of the United States, and he is considered a hero in both the United States as well as France for his service.